Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shane. Uh, today I have for you some mystery boxes. So I was on eVike and I saw that they had the mystery boxes. They're the non-gun ones, so they don't have any replica in them. Um, and I was wondering, like, what do they put in these things? Probably tactical gear. Um, there's no telling what could be in these things. I got two of them right here. We're going to go ahead and rip them open and see, is it worth it? Or is it just a bunch of junk they can't sell? Okay. That. This and looks like that. And of course, Pippa. Let's open it up. Looks like, what is this, Cryptex, I think? Or the snake? It's like the snake one. Got uh, M4 pouches. Three double M4 pouches, radio pouch. And it's even got like a butt pack or a side pouch on there. Uh, is it a plate carrier or just a vest? Oh, so it's a straight up plate carrier. That's pretty solid. All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a backpack. All right. So it's like a patrol pack or something. It's got a thing lift up. Oh, it looks like it's expandable too. So oh, it's got a place for a hydration bladder. Looks like it's pretty expandable to get pretty big. Oh, that's pretty neat. It's like that Cryptex uh, snake. Uh, pattern on it too. All right, backpack. Not really my kind of thing, but it's a mystery box. Now this one says A and K on it, and it sounds clicky. Oh, it's a 249 mag. Well, it says MSRP is 55 bucks, so that's half the box right there. Uh, that's the featherweight uh, 249 right there. So if this does work with it, cool. We've got an extra box mag. Sweet. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'll show you in a sec. Oh, a helmet. And a uh, HPA tap drum mag. Okay, that's random. <laughs> Alright, well, that's uh, okay. They, these are the most random boxes I've ever seen, that's for sure. Square plate carrier. Looks like it has foam plates in it, too. Oh, yeah, it's got foam plates in it. Uh, came with a... Uh, like a little tactical belt here, a little clip belt. Got a radio pouch. Looks like these might be in. in I don't know if those will fit. Normal magazines. This might be like a nine mil setup. No, it fits a mag. All right, so single single pouches with like a pistol pouch on the front side. Pretty good padding on the shoulders, and then like a butt pack on the back. And it has this is a zipper right here, so I guess there's. Uh, like additional attachments that you can get and zip on the back of it. I have this uh, this one which I'm going to do a video on that I love and it's not badly priced. It has the same thing and you can zip on a backpack or a gun holder, all kinds of stuff. And this looks like it's a uh, a Matrix helmet of some sort. I'm not sure. This is like a like an ACH. It's really bent at the bottom and it's definitely got magpul rails on it which is cool. Looks like it has a pretty extensive pad setup. Some of these homes only come with two or three pads and they're super uh, not comfortable. But yeah, it's got the. It's this gives like a two layer system. So you get your first layer and then you got your thinner second layer that goes on top of it, looks like. Now this. Alright, so <laughs> this is a uh, Trap Tap Airsoft. Looks like a WOC HPA tapped drum mag. And it uses the uh, winder on there. This has to be worth, I don't even know. This might be worth, I, I don't even know. I'm going to have to look all this up. Uh, so I'll get right back with you. We'll look it up and see how much all this junk is worth. So I was doing some Googling. And no normally I Google all this stuff. And then I write it all down so I don't look like an idiot when I'm talking about it. <laughs> Yo, this Tap Airsoft. Uh, so the, I couldn't find this exact one. However, the Tap Airsoft drum mag with adapter for gas blowback pistols is between 145 and 203 dollars. This has got to be 200 bucks right here. So that's a huge win. I mean, two. I don't even know who I'm gonna sell this to, but if it works, I mean, this is worth a lot. Just the adapters alone are a hundred dollars. Uh, just this tiny little piece right here, with nothing else even attached to it. That's a crazy win. I don't even know. Like, man, I'm floored by that. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, Holy crap, I don't even know what to say to that. That's nuts. I've been searching for this helmet. Looks like it's an MTech Flux replica. Um, the tag says Matrix. 
but the only one that I can find, the PTS version, this is obviously Matrix, but it does have the upgraded Matrix padding system with the rails that attach and everything. Um, the PTS one is $129. So I'm gonna guess Matrix is half of that, I guess, right? I mean, I, I think. So we'll call it $60. Uh, I think that's a pretty conservative estimate for what I feel is a pretty cool pretty cool replica helmet, right? There's a lot of like quick release stuff, M-Log. I mean, it's got this beefy MVG strap. Like this thing is it's pretty cool. I could not find it on, and I even went to matrixtacticalsystems.com, it's on the tag, and it just says now available on eBay. <laughs> so hardcore China repro, but that's fine, whatever. And then this vest is 69. This is the Matrix adaptable. Um, so they actually, the front panel, the front panel of the vest actually comes off. So this piece comes off so you could have multiple kits and then you just clip it in and then Velcro it and you're good to go. So that first box is worth $304. Uh, yeah, I paid $90 for that box. That means $214 uh, profit on that one. Well, profit, but value, right? So $214 over what I paid. That's crazy. I don't know who packed that box. He might get fired. Um, let's do the second box and see if it's anything like that. So the vest came out to $66. Uh, $35 bucks for the backpack and the mag, $55, which brings us to $155. We paid $90 for the box. That means we came out $65 over value. Do some math, $279 over value uh, for both boxes. That's pretty darn good. I more than doubled the value, uh, and I'm, I get as the MSRP prices and the stuff that I don't want. Uh, I'll sell for less than they are. That's how I do all these mystery boxes. This I'm particularly excited about because if it doesn't work in my Featherbait 249, I have my minigun back here, uh, the, the the Classic Army full-size minigun, and I've been wanting to do like a backpack setup, like Blaine from Predator, Hold Painless, um, and I was thinking about how to do it because you load the BBs, and here, I'll just show you. All right, so here it is right here. Yeah, it's gigantic. You unscrew this plug back here and you just dump the BBs in it. It can hold like 2,500 BBs. This thing fires at 3,300 rounds per minute, so you can't even fire for a full minute with it, right? Um, so what I wanna do is get a backpack set up like an Alice pack with like an ammo can on it, and I'm gonna take the internals from a box mag and then run a tube up into this and then have the HPA tank back there because this thing's CO2 or HPA powered. And then I'll put a fake uh, feed chute that goes up around it. I'm not much of a cosplayer, but for something this cool, uh, I'm going to have to make it as legit as I possibly can. So that's going to be coming in the future. I'm going to put this guy back. Yeah, this thing's 35 pounds, by the way. That is not light. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you later.